Namaste. This practice can help you feel more grounded and rooted through heightened feelings of calm and increased energetic awareness. This practice is a meditative practice that aims at turning your focus inwardly and detaching from anything that might be happening in the external world and that is leading to you feeling uncomfortable and uneasy. We will be going through just four postures, starting from seated to Malasan, Garden Pose, Balasan, Child's Pose, and finally into Shavasan or Course Pose. So let's set ourselves up into any comfortable seat to begin with. So you might want to sit on a chair if sit, uh, sitting on the floor is not accessible or not very comfortable. Feel free to prop yourself up with any blankets, cushions um, or blocks underneath your sitting bones and make any adjustments that you need until you find your comfortable seat. And once you're in your comfortable seated position, you can either choose to keep your eyes open and keep a soft gaze or gently start to close your eyes and soften the eyelids. Whichever you choose, let's set ourselves up to build, to strengthen and to explore this relationship with the energies of the earth. To begin this meditative practice, let's ask our body for a complete release of tension. And notice how the body responds to this, acknowledging the power that our thoughts have in guiding our body to feel the way we want our body to feel. Then bring your awareness to your breath, breathing in and out through the nose, just natural breaths in through the nose and out through the nose, giving each breath the attention that it deserves. Noticing how each inhalation feels, how each exhalation feels. And then through the breath, traveling into any part of the body that is touching the ground and letting that part of the body or those parts of the body to feel sensitive to the breath. And with the exhale, allowing any negative thoughts, feelings or emotions to melt away into the ground. Bring your awareness to your sitting bones. Feel that connection to the earth through the sitting bones. And then allow that energy to travel up through the spine towards the crown of the head. Good. Coming back to our breath, let's add a little count to our breath. Breathing in for three, two, one. Exhaling for three, two, one. Inhale into the belly, into the chest for three, two, one, and exhale, letting go for three, two, one. Inhale into the skin of your back for three, two, one, and exhale, feel the skin of your back melt, two, one. Inhale into the throat two, one, and exhale, letting go completely, emptying it out completely, one, inhale into the skin of your face, two, one, and exhale through the skin of your face, two, one, let's add one count to our exhale, inhale for three, two, one, exhale, completely letting go for four, three, two, one. Inhale, expand the belly, expand the chest for three, two, one. Exhale for four, 
three, two, one. Inhale, allow the back ribs to expand for three, two, one. Breathe out, soften the skin of your back for four, three, two, one. Inhale, feel the breath travel in through the nose, into the throat, two, one. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale into the skin of your face for three, two, one. And exhale through the skin of your face for four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Notice how the body has slowly allowed any tension to melt away. And know that either with eyes closed or open, you have the ability to sense any tension in the body. And that ability also comes with a power, a power to let go of those tensions. Slowly start to blink your eyes to open whenever you're ready, if they're not already open. Bring your hands in front of you and let's come into Malasan garland pose or yogic squat. So take some time to ease into it, moving from side to side and then finding whatever space you need between both your feet and seeing if you are able to reach the heels and the soles of your feet comfortably on the ground. If not, feel free to place a block or two or anything that can give you some height underneath your sit bones and come to into malasan this way and eventually you'll be able to lower down slowly taking one block away and maybe even both so set yourself up comfortably you can keep both the blocks there cushions pillows whatever um, you need to come into this comfortable malasan and now push the knees away from you palms can come to touch in front of your heart space and we're just going to stay here for a few breaths feel the skin of your soles touching the ground and gently closing your eyes start to visualize roots creeping down from the soles of your feet and patiently traveling and journeying through the different layers of the earth towards the core of Mother Earth, strong, supportive, and nurturing Mother Earth. And once those roots reach the core of the Earth, they start to channel that grounding energy in towards the body. And that energy is traveling through the legs, through your spine, into the crown of your head, and on its way, nurturing every single cell of your body. Keep pulling the knees away from one another, keeping the heart lifted. Eyes are soft. Take a second to bring your awareness back into the soles of your feet and feel that connection to the earth. Feel that connection to the land that you have the privilege to call home today. Feel grateful. You can open your eyes whenever you're ready. Bring your hands in front of you and we're slowly transition into our next grounding posture, which is Balasan, child's pose. Bringing the knees as wide as the mat, toes touch. We're going to bring our hips to sink towards our heels and then stretch the arms forward. Inhaling to lengthen the spine and then exhale, slowly melting the chest towards the floor. Feel free to place a block under the forehead Place a cushion in between um, the thigh, the thighs and um, the calves. Anything you need to make this a little more comfortable for yourself. And once you have found your comfortable child's pose, breathe into the shoulders and into the neck and allow any tension from those areas to melt away into the ground. And this time our the front of our body is facing the earth. So take a second to bring your awareness to your forehead and to your heart space. 
and allowing this awareness to bring in a sense of openness to the healing energies of the earth through the heart space, through the forehead. Allowing those energies to nurture our mind and our heart. Finding clarity and being receptive and open to the possibilities that any change that is happening around us might have in store for us. Being open to the positives of these changes. Bowing down to Mother Earth. Being open to receiving healing and grounding energy. Whenever we're ready, we're going to gaze forward and walk our hands towards us. Bring the knees together, cross the shins behind you and make our way onto the back. First Shavasana, our last posture. So hold on to the backs of your thighs and slowly make your way onto the back. Allow your feet to be a bit, a bit um, more distant than hip width distance apart. Arms by the sides of the body, palms facing up. And just allow your body to metaphysically just sink into the ground. Allowing your entire being to sink into the stillness willingly being open to that grounding energy reaching from the ground up into the body. Find beauty in the stillness, find beauty in the silence. Let every inch of the body that is connected to the ground tap into this relationship that you have with the earth allowing the power of this grounding energy to grow within every cell of the body. Notice if there is any gripping or any resistance in any part of the body, allow it to soften. I invite you to stay here for as long as you wish. But just for this video, I'm going to turn to my right side and make my way up, back to seated. So I hope that through this practice, you were able to ground yourself a little more towards the earth and find that energy from the earth building within you to find more stillness, to find your center. Know that you can tap into this energy. You can feed your body with this grounding energy by just closing your eyes and revisiting this connection that you have shared with the earth through this meditative practice. Namaste.